Well, in general, I guess we're live. I guess All right, we're, yeah. uh, we're uh, recording. All right, cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hello, everybody. Uh-huh. Welcome to uh, Know Thy Enemy. Know Thy Enemy. Our little podcast where we dive into uh, weird things in the supernatural. Monsters? Supernatural? Monster, creepy, creepy cryptids. Episode 2. Episode 2, yeah. We're moving up in the world, making money moves, man. Making something of ourselves, finally. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, well, let's face it, we're broke. So uh, this was uh, Baxter's newest hair, hairbrain scheme to try and make us some money and uh, or see what happens. Of course, we do it for the uh, we do it for the passion. For the passion, for the art. We yeah, don't, we don't do it for any money. It's for money. It's for money. It's for money. But, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, you, you mentioned uh, uh, general. We're not in the uh, the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've graduated uh, from a, a not, shed not to uh, to a basement. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's might as well be completely unbiased. It's, it's, what it is. It's a lot nicer. Not gonna lie, this is much nicer. <laughs> it's got AC. Much, much cooler in here. It's not worth me uh, you know, almost dying every time we film an episode <laughs> of dehydration. So, yeah, we should move down to the basement. You know, got the uh, keep out witches sign. You'll remember witches, if yeah. you've uh, if you watch the Adventures of Baxter and the General on YouTube, uh, there's the uh, the witch saga, and this makes an appearance. So think, there's our plug. There's our plug. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of those. Completely unbiased news. So, uh, so what are we talking about? Oh yeah, so ahead. So, oh yeah, yeah. This is the uh, the general. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Howard T. Baxter. Completely unbiased news. We're here today. We're here today. Completely unbiased news. In Know Thy Enemy podcast episode two. What are we doing? All right. So, let me set a scene for you. Picture a little picture here. All right. So, okay. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. You're bored. I'm and not you bored. decide. I'm a herd worker. For 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 the story's sake, you're bored. Right, okay. You <laughs> you you uh you decide <laughs> that you uh, you want to you want to do something with your with your free time other than work. You've been working really hard. You 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 deserve some you time, right? Okay. So you you go out and you decide. I'm gonna go camping. Go camping. Where else really? are you gonna go camping? The Everglades, Everglades in Florida, because you love mosquitoes and alligators. I so you get your tent. General, I I don't know about. It. I don't, hate, I don't really like alligators, and mosquitoes. For the sake of the story, you do though. No, so you, uh, you, 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 you take your you take your tent and you throw it in your car and you drive your car down to Florida. Ah, it's on drive. Yeah, you're driving down, go down to Florida. You find a nice spot out for. You almost hit a turkey or something. Well, I, yeah, I got I got distracted. It was, did, did it's, it's getting into the roll. Gotcha. All right. Well, good. I distracted. Ten and ten and twenty. <laughs> your imaginary car <laughs> in a basement. So. <laughs> So yeah, you drive down to Florida. You pick out a you go to a nice little campground. You pick a nice spot, right along in the swamp, and you set up your tent. And lo and behold, you look over, just across to the next uh, next little campsite, and you see some see some hot ladies over there drinking, having a good time, and they keep peeking over at you and giggling and and waving at you. And so you figure, screw it, I'm single. I want some hot babes over here. And she go. Hey, ladies, uh, you, you want you want to come over and maybe have some hot dogs and s'mores and tell us some spooky ghost stories? Maybe dance a little bit. Just like that. Isn't that what the and kids so, are into? So, sure. <laughs> and so they go, sure, YOLO. We'll come over and we'll hang out. And they, they come on over, they move their stuff over, and you all, you're sitting around, you're... Cooking some hot dogs. Put it down in my mind. This is great. Isn't this awesome? Yeah, you're cooking some hot dogs over the hot fire. Dogs? You uh, you know, you're making some s'mores and stuff. Having 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 some fun. You know, lay, laying some some uh, what do the kids say? You know, laying laying some riz on these girls. You know, getting them to you pipe. Just, no, no, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> no, you're putting a mac on them. You're, you're, uh, flirting, you're flirting. It's, flirting. You're flirting. It's, kids say it's riz got, now. You get get got my got my riz game. Get your riz game. game. Yeah. You get these for these girls. Are they're into it? They're feeling it. They're picking up on your land down. And then you smell it. Do they? Oh, go go. Wait, say what, what you smell. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting there and you. Uh, I don't remember what I would. For half a second, you're, 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 you're sitting there. You're cooking your hot dog and you're okay. cooking. <laughs> Dad, what the hell is that smell? What is that? Man, that really stinks. And you think, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe, yeah, maybe one of the girls farted. It, it happens, all right. It happens. It's natural. That's fine. But then it gets worse and worse, and you're like, this is really bad. It did smell. Maybe, maybe smell. one of them. Maybe one of these girls. They they done mess themselves. 
and uh, you, you, you look at them and you say, do you smell that? And they say, yeah, yeah, I do. I do, I, I do smell that. That's, that's bad. Then you, then you think maybe it's a maybe it's a skunk in the distance. Maybe maybe there's a skunk nearby. Skunk. Or maybe maybe it's some uh, some other camper over a different campsite honking the booth. You know, getting that getting that good good in there. And and and, and but but no, then it gets worse. And it's like this 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 smell like like wet sewage wrapped in gym sock. And you're like, what is this smell? What what could possibly be? And the girls are starting to complain too. They're putting their shirts up over their face. And then you hear it. Yo! You go, I know that sound. That's a, that's a Bigfoot. Close! It's the Florida Skunk Ape! The Florida Skunk Ape? <laughs> yep, we're talking about the Florida Skunk Ape, folks. <laughs> the Florida Skunk Ape. Florida Skunk Ape. That was, wow, that was a really good story. Thanks! Yeah, I've been uh, working on my storytelling skills. Uh, you know, back during the Monster War, we had to keep ourselves uh, Enter entertained uh, around a campfire at night. Yeah, we, we would tell stories. We've had yeah, a lot of them involved boobies. So, I don't, I don't, yeah. So the skunk ape. So the, the, uh, the, uh, the Florida skunk ape. Florida skunk ape is a cryptid from uh, the Florida area, but also surrounding states also have had sightings of this creature. It is described as being a uh, humanoid type creature, very ape like. Uh, very similar to the Bigfoot, but a little bit smaller. Instead of being about like seven, eight, nine feet tall like the like the Bigfoot, this is more like the five, six foot range. So, so this this is the the Florida version of the Bigfoot. Yes, it's almost like a cousin of the Bigfoot. That's crazy. Yeah, I had no idea it existed too. Oh yes, without a doubt in my mind. So it also uh, instead of. Having uh, like dark brown or or black hair like like the Bigfoot, uh, it has very bright red hair like. Uh, it's a red hair. Like a redhead, yeah. It's it's a it's a, like a redhead. It's a redhead. Redhead, smaller Bigfoot, and it is named after the horrible rancid odor that accompanies it. Apparently, this thing smells real bad. Like a skunk. Like a skunk, yeah. Skunk ape. Skunk ape. So basically, throughout the swamps in Florida and the Everglades, there have been countless sightings of this thing. Like even just, of all of the counties in Florida, I believe it was 75% of them have had a sighting of this thing since 2010. Since 2010. So this is still an active thing. Like it's, 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 it's a big thing down in Florida. When was the, uh, do you know when the first sighting was? When we kind of trace it back to the original... Like right from the source, but nobody actually knows the first sighting. This is one of those ones uh -huh. that's been around, like the like with the Bunny Man. It was like you know 1970. This oh, is Bunny like Man, way back, like even with the pioneer days, like back when people are first settling the area. Really, they claim to see this this creature. Um, a lot of the Native Americans that were in the area actually had legends about a creature, a large hairy man of the woods. Wow. Um, I don't have the actual name. We'll put it up on the screen, I'm sure, or something like that. Or we'll cut to me saying it. Or I'll, I'll just look at the hell. Yeah, up look it up. Right? There's, uh, yeah, there's some podcast. good information right here. But yeah, they, uh, the actual... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Generally, I'll look it up. Actually, I did have a couple questions. Native American name for the skunk ape. Yeah. Uh, 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 Aha! That's what it was. Big hairy man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big, big hairy dude. Now, the, uh, the, the <clears throat> so the Seminole and the uh, Mikosuke culture, I totally butchered that and I apologize. Apologize. Uh, they included stories of foul smelling, physically, power and secret, uh, physically powerful and secretive creature called Esti Kakaki. That's pretty cool, actually. A name and which Stukaki. roughly translates to Furry Tall Man. <laughs> you nailed it! <laughs> well, that I doubt my mind, Esti <laughs> This is great! Esti Kakaki, yeah, Kakaki. Um, and so this thing has been around since time immemorial, and it, sightings have, have come from way back when. Like, it's a, it's, it's a thing. And, uh... Basically, the story is people will go out in the woods and they will either hear a, a cry like they do with the Bigfoot or they will smell this horrible, off, awful, rancid odor emanating from the swamp. Then you know if it's 
nearby. And they know it's nearby, and then a sighting usually happens after that. My God. Now, that said, there has been some talk of, uh, for the debunkers out there, that say that uh, this thing isn't real because it's people just smelling, like, swamp gas and then just hmm. seeing what? something out there, like a bear with mange or something like that, like a black bear, and thinking... Swamps can be, yeah, swamps can be pretty stinky. Pretty stinky. Completely unbiased news. Yep. Uh, So you said you had some, some questions. Oh, there's a question. Later on, man. Okay, so, so in, in Antarctica, or in, or in the Great North, there's the Yeti. Well, the Himalayas, but yeah. The Himalayas. Yeah. So it's not really... So I was off. That's not... Far East. So the Far, oh, far East. Yes. It's far East. So it's Far East. You have the Yeti. And then in... So, so and then in the, uh, in the Heartland... I guess of America is Bigfoot up and through the the northwest, up and yeah. through northwest, and all, all over Canada as well. Yeah. Canada. So, what about the chupacabra? Is the that chupacabra the is totally different. That's more like a lizard type thing. However, there is a creature uh, from Arizona. I can't remember. Recall the the name of it. Let's look at it, look that up too. There's basically a a Bigfoot type creature for every region in the United Everybody States. Everybody has their own version. Huh. Arizona Bigfoot. What about the rest of the world? It's the, oh, the, the, the Mogollon Monster, or Mogollon Monster. The Mogollon? Arizona Bigfoot is the one that's in the southwest. Well, that'll be good. Uh, that'll yeah, be we'll, a good we'll, podcast episode. We'll, we'll, and talk about the Mong- Mongola. Mongola, Mongola, whatever monster. Yeah, right we'll now we're talking about the Terra We'll cover that Kaka. one. Yeah, the Terra Did I say this correctly? <laughs> Terra Kaka. Etsy Kakaskin. Etsy Kakaskin. Big hairy dude. Big hairy dude. Yeah. So, so, anyway, yeah, so the, all right, so, you have the Bigfoot, and you have the Yeti, they came together, and did they create the, uh, Big Stinky Man? See, I think it's more so along the lines it, of, uh, they are all divergent of the same sort of evolutionary tree. That was my next question. Yeah. So they're all come from the same, they have a, uh, an ancient... The uh, a common ancestor. Common ancestor. Yep. I mean, there's there's another one from up around Oregon area. It's either Oregon or Washington. It's the uh, the bat squatch. The bat squatch. Yeah, it's got like fangs and wings and stuff, but it's still like a cousin. Not down my mind. That's uh, badass. Yeah, it's it, we'll cover that one. That one's a lot of fun. It's pretty badass. But yes, yeah, so there's there's different versions, but this one is uh, a huge thing in Florida, which you know a lot of people don't know about it. Until you go to Florida, and it's like a widely accepted thing. Okay, let me see if I got my... While you're looking for that, yeah. there was even at one point an attempt at pushing through legislation that mentioned this thing in the uh, Florida state legislature that it could not be harmed. Really? In fact, I have actual, uh, I think, actual verbiage from it. You have to sort of leave it alone? You yes. Can't, you can't attack it? Like it's a... Uh... Like going going extinct. Like even it was recently. It was uh, let me see here. Yeah, in, in 1977, it failed. It failed to pass bill was proposed to the Florida State Legislature. Excuse me, Florida State Legislature to make it illegal to and I'm quoting here: take, possess, harm, or molest anthropoids or humanoid animals. Specifically meaning the skunk ape. This was specific to Florida. Yes. Yeah, the actual Florida Florida State Legislature tried to pass protective legislature or legislation just to protect the the skunk ape. Wow. Yeah. So it's 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 like it's a fun tongue in cheek thing for for people in Florida, but there's a lot of true believers out there. Like like you have a lot of true believers with the Bigfoot, the skunk ape people. They even like they take that culture even into like their homes and their businesses, and it's become a sort of cultural identity for the area. And actually, this is a uh, this is a good segue into the next topic. Did you know there is a skunk ape research headquarters? Is there? I was actually unaware in- of that. I believe it's in Florida, and in Florida. they, <clears throat> and I assume that's what they do. All right, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm sure there's probably a whole organization they have with that too. Yeah, I thought that was uh, to speak of uh, cultural and stuff like that. That's exciting. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I hadn't come across that. I don't know how serious it is, but I mean, if it's, 
I would imagine that it is probably you have a split down the middle where you have some people that are super gung-ho about it that are all about like this is real we are going to find it we are going to document it come hell or high water and then you probably have people that are a little more relaxed where it's like it's 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 fun to be a part of this you know it's it's fun to be a part of things be a part of a society that is looking for these things Maybe you believe, maybe you're a little wishy-washy on it, but you're having fun with it. It's and a it's, fun club. To get you know, you could be doing drugs. Instead, you're looking for the skunk ape. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a trade-off. But Much like Bigfoot or, or Bigfoot hunters. Yes. Like, like these guys. Wasn't that fun? That was a lot of fun. There was the... Uh, what was their names? The Calhouns. The Calhouns! Yeah. I spent, spent that... Uh, Spent a little bit of time with him, looking around for Bigfoot. I yeah, can't stand that Amos Calhoun, that fat ass. That's how I... <laughs> so, jackass doesn't know what he's talking about. That's how I know about the uh, the call. The, uh... Ooh! It's pretty bad, but... Anyway, yeah, yeah, we almost got eaten by uh, Bigfoot, possibly. Yeah, I watched the video. That seemed pretty crazy. It's pretty nuts. I'm sad I couldn't have been, couldn't have been there. Well, we've gone. Beat, the, beat we, the hell out of Calhoun, you know? We've done our own. Yeah, we, we, uh, we... You almost died from Bigfoot with an axe. Oh yeah, that was a that was a more fruitful endeavor. See, oh yeah, stick with me. You'll actually encounter shit instead of going with the Calhouns. Just talk about it in the woods. Spook yourselves. I'm your guy. I'm the Bigfoot guy. Yeah, it was pretty traumatic. It was pretty traumatic. Kicked its ass though. <laughs> but anyway, so it was a skunk, a skunk ape. ape. I got a list of uh, sightings here. My God, if you would like to hear some sightings. So in uh, night, no, no, before I get into this, keep in mind that some people who are really into a lot of supernatural or para paranormal take entities, they take themselves very seriously, but they recognize that without proof, nobody's going to take them seriously. So a lot of them will create hoax proof. They will create fake things mm. to go... See, look how serious this is. There was a guy, uh, it was a Bigfoot hunter, mm -hmm. who is a true believer, 100% believes there is Bigfoot, yeah. and he brought a cooler full of mm. guts that he said was proof that there was a Bigfoot. He got this these rotting guts from a Bigfoot. Turned out to be a beer cooler full of deer guts. I but he not. was hoping that providing some sort of concrete proof would gain more... Uh, more more demand for notoriety. for his line of work, more notoriety, more more money, right? And uh, money. So those sort of things do happen. So all of these sightings take with a grain of salt because it could be just some true believer hoping to stir the you know muddy the waters a little bit, stir up some uh, stir up some attention, get people paying attention to this stuff. Why have we not? Why? Well, I guess I didn't know about it, so we couldn't have gone after it in a hunt before. But you you. You probably knew about it before, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've... But there's some creatures you probably didn't know about. There's still some new discoveries to be made out there. Oh, yeah, there's lots of stuff yeah. I don't know about. I'm learning stuff fight them all day. during the war. No, no, no. I, I've, I've smelt a, uh, a, 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 a skunk ape. I've never seen one. Well, that'd, be, that'd be a good adventure to go on. It would be a good adventure to go on. Maybe we will hunt a skunk ape. We'll skunk, hunt a skunk ape. Skunk ape. Don't worry, this is not the devil's brew. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so in... Oh, go ahead. Oh, you looked like you were getting ready to nope. say something. All right. So in 1929, a sighting occurred at the famous and then recently constructed Perky Bat Tower. <laughs> Perky <laughs> Bat Tower. Perky Bat Tower. 1929. In the Florida Keys. Witnesses reported that an unknown ape-like beast was drawn to the construction site after inspecting the bat tower shortly after it had been stocked with bats. The creature shook the tower, driving off the bats before running off into the woods. So they built this bat tower. To attract bats? To, to, to house bats. It's a, house bats. It, uh, there are different places that actually create these bat towers or bat houses. That's pretty so, Some modern houses, actually, they have them built onto the side of the house. It creates a place... Four bats to roost. One, so they don't damage local houses or your house. And two, they keep the insect population down at night. So, ah. Cuts down on mosquitoes. That's because one bat, can, one bat can eat hundreds of mosquitoes a night. So you get a couple thousand bats are eating 
hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes. So bats, bats can be kind of a pest. They can get into your attic and create holes mm -hmm. and things. But they can also be incredibly beneficial. Because they eat the mosquitoes. Eat the mosquitoes. So oh, I had no idea. They so this thing saw them building this tower. Great house. Went, I think the hell not. Went and shook it. Scared off all the bats. And then ran off into the woods like an asshole. Okay, question. Yeah. So, so does the Florida skunk ape <laughs> eats bats? I, I don't think it eats the bats. It just, it maybe it oh. either... I was going to say, that would have been a good... See, like, you know, you're hunting it and you... I wish I could say this thing pit. jumped in the air and grabbed one and ate it. That would have been so cool. That would have been so freaking metal. Because but... you use the use the bats as, as bait. It comes, eats the bats. And comes, eats the bats, and then you just take it out. Oh, right? man. I, I'm completely unbiased news. It would hurt your first. You're born in the wrong era, dude. Oh, yeah, man. So, it, it just... It, it, it makes me laugh, the idea that this thing saw them building this tower... And just was like, I think the hell not. Went up and just like, yeah, just shakes it, scares away all the bats, and it's like, ha ha, and runs off into the woods. Yeah, so how many vampires? That's right. How many vampires? Oh yeah, but you, the skunk ape is what a troll then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like ah. Well, that's a lot of these stories with the skunk ape and with like Bigfoot and stuff like that. It's yeah. a lot of them trolling people and just screwing with them. It's it's, trolling. it's that we're that's part of the idea where it might be this sort of like mischievous spirit of the forest rather than a concrete thing. But I'll tell you I fought Bigfoots in the war. They're real. We've seen a Bigfoot. Like right here. He almost got chopped in half by one, yeah. He's got chopped chopped in half. So in uh in nineteen forty two a man in Swanee County reported a similar creature. Swanee County? Swanee County in Florida. Swanee County. Uh, reported a similar creature rushing out from a from the bush line or the brush line, while he was driving down an isolated road. It was alleged to have grabbed onto his vehicle and beat on the running board and door for half a mile before departing. <laughs> in the small community of Barden in Putnam County, Florida, beginning in the 1940s, there were a number of alleged sightings of a creature that came to be known as the. Ready for this one. The Bard Inn Booger. <laughs> the Bard? <laughs> My gosh. 19, 1940s, the, the Bard Inn Booger. In the 1960s, a rash of sightings Jones. in Central Florida Bard happened around... Uh, the Bard Inn Booger. The Bard Inn Booger. That'd be such a great, like, punk Boogers? Band. Boogers. Booger. Yeah, the Bar Bard Inn Booger. Just pick, picking your nose. More, more like it was just because it liked to screw with people. It was being like a little booger. It was being uh. a little stinker. Yeah. It was, it was like a boogeyman. Like, like a booger man. That's where that was. The idea was. We haven't, we haven't tried to find the boogeyman yet. Yeah, boogeyman. Just boogeyman. put out some mucinex. And take boogeyman right out. We've well, probably done a couple of TikToks on the boogeyman. I've done several TikToks on the boogeyman. Go yeah. check those out. So in uh, in the 1960s, a rash of sightings in Central Florida happened around uh, Alachua County and Marion County in Florida. One such, uh, <laughs> one such report from uh, 1963 involved several members of a family encountering an ape-like creature around their rural home, including one instance of it approaching a window to peer inside at night. Thing was being real creepy. Looking at windows, people getting naked and trying on clothes. Big, uh, big horny ape outside the windows, probably doing uh, illicit things or watching you get dressed. So keep that in mind. If you live in Florida and you're dressed in front of a window, keep the blinds closed. Could be a big old monkey man looking through the window. It's pretty creepy. Smells like poop. It smells like a skunk. You smell the skunk. You're here for a and bison. I don't know the enemy. Close your drapes if you smell skunk. Never change your clothes if something stinks outside. To keep it nice and simple. Keep it nice and simple, yeah. It's not a skunk. If you live in Florida. My God. Reports of the skunk ape were particularly common in the 1950s through the 1970s. The Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, hey, there you go, has archived hundreds of sight, uh, alleged sightings across almost every county of Florida beginning in 1955 to the present day. So there have been, again, hundreds of alleged sightings. That have been reported. See, so that's the thing. A lot of the, a lot of these creatures, it's all hearsay. You don't have documentation of people's uh, alleged sightings, the actual stories they're telling. Albeit, it's all eyewitness testimony, which is unreliable at best. But you very rarely get an actual archive. This creature has an actual organized body that is dedicated entirely 
to archiving sightings of it. So that lends some credence to the actual existence of it. Yeah, the, uh, what are they, they're the Society of something? Uh, I, I don't Bigfoot remember. Field Researchers Organization. So the Bigfoot, uh, Bigfoot researchers, they recognize this thing as an offshoot, and they are very dedicated to keeping these sightings well documented, well archived, and easily accessible to people. Uh, not necessarily the public, but uh, other researchers. Fair enough. Bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. In the 1970s, two Palm, Damn Beach County, two Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies named Marvin Lewis and Ernie Milner reported that an ape-like creature stalked them through a grove before they shot at it with their firearms. <laughs> <laughs> they reported following a trail of footprints where they uh, recovered hair snagged on a barbed wire fence that led that it had been pushed down. In 1971 to 1975, a rash of sightings occurred in Broward County and the surrounding areas. Multiple eyewitnesses reported nocturnal encounters with a 5 to 7 foot tall, it's 1.5 to 2.1 meter, ape-like creature with dark red to black fur. These events were heavily covered in newspapers, both local and in other Florida cities such as Miami. So the popularization of the term skunk ape uh, in the state lexicon came came around at that, that time. Uh, there's reports of it having killed several, uh, so some livestock, a horse, a bull, different things like that. Um, let's see. <laughs> One law enforcement officer reported striking a skunk ape with, a, with his car. Striking with his car? There was no body or evidence ever found, though. You know when you hit... General, when you when you hit a skunk with your car, it really stinks, and you have to clean it out. Oh so yeah. I, wonder... well, I had a deer with that station wagon I had, and it shit on the side of the car when I hit it. That stunk. Ugh. Yeah, I screwed that thing up. What? The, that is an amazing picture. So yeah, the uh, maybe we could put it up here for the audience. It's Sheely's official skunk ape headquarters Ooh. in Florida. But anyway, yeah. So it's there's different resource research headquarters. Kind of like what we do, only we're the... See, that's the thing, but we, those posers... Baxter, Baxter and the General, oh, they those, hunt real monsters. Those nerds, those losers, they're, they're not doing the real work. They're, they're out there, they're looking, looking for evidence and stuff. We're out there making money moves, making a podcast for you guys, teaching you how to keep safe from this thing. We've actually gone hunting for a lot of these things. Bigfoot, I've killed so many Bigfoots... Bigfoot's during the war. Bigfoot's during the war. And then just recently, that one tried to kill you. I keep going back to this. Because <laughs> it was really freaking like funny. Third time. <laughs> it was really funny. Why was I get like so many stitches and the plague doctor to show up and put me back together? It was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, the plague so, doctor. <laughs> okay. I got nowhere to be in general. So there's, just, a, there's <laughs> a lot of. So there's a lot of uh, like different tours and stuff in Florida. Where they'll actually take you on, uh, like, like, quote unquote, hunting trails to find this this creature, and um, there have been several instances of uh, so like like haunted mansion tours. Yes, yes, exactly. That, that sort of that sort of thing where it's it's like you go the skunk ape tour. They do think the same thing for Bigfoot. Um, go out with these groups, you know, these quote unquote professionals, and take you out and uh, and show you these things. However, there were uh, several instances of some of these groups on these tours bringing out fart packets. Uh, yeah, so they would have you know one guy leading the tour and one of the like little uh, secondary or tertiary guys bringing up the back. But got a question? Yeah. Do you? Do, is there uh, cosplay? Do they cosplay as the skunk ape while they're going on the trails? I doubt it. I did not come across any instances of that. Must be really nervous. Really, well, that would be kind of fun. Although, See, that would be dedication to a bit. But you yeah. go out there as like big. But you might you know, be. You, you might be misunderstood for an actual skunk ape, and if the tour guides there have guns, and get shot. Get shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go, though, man! What a funeral that'd be. <laughs> ah, old Ernie, he died doing what he loved. I do being a jackass. Be a <laughs> trying to punk somebody. <laughs> how Ashton Kutcher's going to go one day. <laughs> so, yeah, they would send one of the other guys, like they'd, they'd say, once we get to this part of the tour, 
one of you guys break off in the back, take one of the fart packets out, pop it against a tree, fart and then yeah. come come back into the group. You, you can get those at like Spencer's or something like just some any like magic store or any like you know gag gift store. There are these little like little square packets that you can pop, and it smells like crap. Like it just smells like a horrible oh, fart. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and they release that like an odor. Yep, and so they would pop that against a tree. Go back in their group and go, oh, man, you smell it? You smell It must be close. Get the people all fired up, all excited, like, oh, my God, you're, you're smell close. Smell Oh, and then, you know, everybody would be looking. People would be like, I think I see it. I think I see it there. And you're know, just looking at shadows in the just dark. Shadows in the dark. And then they'd all go home and think they saw a freaking scum cape when it was just these hucksters trying to get one over on people. And honestly, I got to say, good for them because that's, you know, that's dedication. That's, that's. Smart thinking. But... I agree. Wow. But yeah, so there's been lots of lots and lots of sightings of this thing. And it has been ingrained so deeply into the state identity, like the cultural identity of the state, that a lot of different, uh, like, uh, roadside restaurants and motels and businesses will have pictures of the skunk ape up or little cartoons of it around, part of their advertising, stuff like that. Um, in order to, it's, it's, it's almost like an unofficial state mascot for Florida to some degree, um, to a lesser degree. And it, it's, it's kind of fun that way that you'll have these, you know, like I said, restaurants, gas stations, stuff like that. You walk in and instead of like, you know, around, around, you know, in, in different states, you have different things, you know, you you Statue of Liberty or you got Cardinals for Ohio or different stuff like that. In Florida, it's just a big stinky (laughs) ape in a swamp. But funny enough, uh, during the, uh, the big crisis we had uh, over the past few years, uh, they actually used the skunk ape in a lot of different, uh, uh, I don't want to say advertisements, but it, 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 it advisements for um, advisements, yeah. for social distancing. Basically, you wouldn't, oh, wow. you wouldn't want to stand within six feet of a big stinky hairy man from, uh, from, from the swamp, so why would you stand close to somebody else? All those... Uh, all those Bigfoot uh, T-shirts, you know, the the champion of social distancing. <laughs> champion of social distancing, yep. For uh, Bigfoot, it's, uh, <laughs> here's the, the skunk ape was doing it all along. Yep, the the uh, the, the a- SD Kep- <laughs> Kepkaki. <laughs> SD Kepkaki. Yeah. SD Kepkaki. <laughs> no stinky. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, it it it's very interesting how some of these. You know these 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 cryptids. Like, I'll be yes. This is an offshoot of the the Bigfoot phenomenon out there, but how people have kind of become self aware of how ridiculous some of it sounds that they've accepted it as like a mascot at this point. They're they're using it. It's a pop culture icon, and for Florida, sure, for sure, it it it's it's fun how people's minds work like that. Where you go, okay, yes, this is absolutely ridiculous. A lot of people have been hoaxed by this. A lot of people have lost a lot of money looking for this thing. But instead of just poo-pooing it and being like, you know, it's, it's not real. Forget it. It never happened. They're just like, oh, yeah, the skunk cape. Yeah, we're going to plaster that all over skunk our wallpaper inside this restaurant. You know, put it on our menus and stuff like that. It, just have some fun with it. It, it, it. It's a great example of an instance where you have true believers in cryptid lovers and, you know, monster hunters and stuff all coming together to kind of share in the, the joy of it and just kind of like the, the tongue-in-cheek nature of it rather than being hardcore and very angry about it. A lot of uh, actual Bigfoot hunters are very hard-nosed about it. And the second you start to make fun of it or make the fun t-shirts or something like that, they get really angry or if you were to, for instance, try and uh, post a video of yours on uh, like a <laughs> Bigfoot Reddit, uh, you might get some colorful language. Get some uh, colorful language. Because some people can't take a joke. But uh, <laughs> but with the Florida Skunk Ape, it's been widely accepted as it's 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 silly. It's funny. It's a big stinky monkey man in the woods. It's it's fun. It it, it it's. It, yeah, there's been reports of it killing some like livestock. There's never been like you know like. 
oh, I was molested by the freaking skunk ape, or so, oh, he, he ransacked my house. There's it's no just, instances of it getting murdered. No, it's just, it's a thing. Murdering, it, murdering someone. Instantly. Unless I'm wrong, in which case, please correct me in the comments if that's the case. If there, if there have been reported cases of somebody getting offed by the skunk ape, please do tell, because I would be fascinated to, to hear about that. But all in all, it just seems like this is more of the fun side of cryptid research, more, more of the, the, the colorful fun side of, of monster hunting, rather than the, the hard-nosed super nerds that, that go into it, like, you know, like, if, if you're a cryptozoologist, you try, yeah, cryptozoology, cryptozoology, cryptozoology. A, a lot of people take it way too seriously, and you need to be oh, able to, nerds. you gotta be able to, to take, <laughs> to, to find the humor in it all, find the humor, um, and the humor and the, the sarcasm and the yeah, it's satire. A, and know that some people are going to think you're crazy and be okay with that and, and laugh about it. And the skunk ape seems to be an example where people are fully capable of that. Uh, things like, you know, the Bigfoot or like aliens. Absolutely. Oh my Absolutely. gosh, you get into aliens. Aliens, it's split right down the middle. Half the people are like that. Oh yeah, aliens, it's, it's crazy, right? And the other ones are like, you ever talk bad about aliens, I will behead you. It, 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 well, aliens are real, General. We've seen them. I hate aliens. So the Florida skunk, eh? Yeah. So, so basically, long story short, it's can it swim? I, I would imagine so. It lives in a swamp. Lives in the Everglades. Oh, oh but, but, uh, it's like swamp thing. Kind of. What if it's swamp thing? But hairier. And swamp stinky. thing is pretty uh, veiny. Like this like veins and different things. Yeah, it's veiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess I walked right into that one. Didn't yeah, I walked right into it. Created a. Yep. Credit a joke, didn't he? Right, right, the... right into a right, so Florida there. Swamp Ape. It, it, skunk Ape. Swamp Ape. <laughs> but yeah, it's... it's Swamp Ape was... It, it's Could fun. Be... It, 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 it's a fun... Pretty fun. Cryptid. It's not like... It's not like some terrifying thing. Like, like you know... I mean, albeit Mothman has become like a fun cultural icon. But that was like a scary thing. Or like, you know, the, the Bunny Man. Goofy, but kind of... Frightening well, there's because some there's like people, vandalism, people almost getting killed and stuff. Well, there was people killed, right? And then, uh, no, almost killed. All right, yeah, there were almost killed. There were there were murders that we were talking about. Maybe it was a ghost from the murders, but and then like oh. you have stuff like the chupacabra that's ripping goats apart and stuff, eating goats. And it, this is doesn't have a body count. It's fun. It's goofy. It's 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 just fun. Body count. Mm. Veiny. <laughs> <laughs> but it, so it, it makes it, 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 this is a more fun one to, to, to play around with. Now, during the Monster War, uh, we were camped down near the Everglades. Uh, in between battles, just, just kind of licking our wounds. We got our asses handed to us in the Dominican Republic. Uh, it was the, uh, the Battle of uh, the Dominican Republic, is what oh, we called it, because it took place in the Dominican Republic. It's pretty... It was pretty redundant, right? But uh, yeah, we got we got our asses handed to us, so we, we moved up to the Everglades. We were looking at our wounds, and uh, at night we'd sit, be sitting around the campfire, telling stories and stuff, and cooking some food over the fire. And every once in a while, you'd catch that just that, just a whiff of like foot wrapped in ass, just a really really bad scent. And the guys like, oh, it's the skunk ape, and I'm like, ah, I don't know about no skunk ape. And you know, every once in a while, we'd have some some of our Food supply would end up stolen, and I don't know if it was uh, Fat Henry that was in our battalion, or if it was Fat a skunk Henry. ape, you know? It, it's, uh, was, were you friends with, was the professor friends with Fat Henry? The professor was not in the Everglades. I think that was one of his many trips to oh. the Dead Sea. Oh, he was in the Dead Sea. Yep, getting, getting some salt from the Dead Sea, probably. Salt. He was also in the Airborne. Uh, we were we were ground troops. Was he in the Airborne? He was in the Airborne, yeah. Oh, Wow. That's why you got so good at uh, uh, plane to broom combat. Plane to broom combat. Lots of dog fights. And those witches were vicious, vicious though. Vicious bitches. We, I, don't I, want I, the, uh, yeah. we don't need the witches. No, no. Now, now, modern, modern day, like you know, get to get to cool like goth witchy, witchy ladies. I can dig it. I can dig that a lot. We're talking about the haggard, green skin, long nose, big wart. Haggard, eating babies. Those I've type seen. Of I've seen a real. I mean, well, besides those witches that we were fighting. That yeah. I've seen another real witch, and you know because there's. They they have smells like herbal scents, and Ooh. senses, senses. Essential oils. Essentials. 
But there's the the uh, Sensi sticks. What are these things? Gerald, help me out. What are these things called? Incense. Incense. Yeah. You, you, have, you have the incense and a, just a hint of oregano. I don't know why. Gotta, gotta season it, man. I don't know why. It's actually sage. Burn a lot of sage. I don't. I'm Into. smelling oregano. Are you? Are, well, you may be found an I Italian don't, witch. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an Italian witch burning oregano instead of sage. But yeah, don't no, like modern, modern day witch, witchy girls. I dig it. All right, it's uh, we're talking about. Uh, it's not so bad. Creepy old, creepy old hags eating talking babies. About old hags that are kind of babies, you know, yeah, yeah. walk like that. <laughs> Those types, yeah, not cool types. But the Florida skunk ape. Yes, the Florida skunk ape would. Uh, The witches probably take it. They do experiments on it. You think? Witches do experiments on a lot of creatures. Maybe. I wouldn't doubt it. And you didn't take any prisoner during the war because you never found it. No, I have, I have never set eyes on an actual skull. Sort game, of no. your white whale. It, yeah, we. I'll, hopefully one day I will see one. Sort of, uh... But it, it, it didn't cause us any trouble. See, the Bigfoot's no. full-on revolted. I, the Bigfoot's I could, were the main... I would do the main enemy force... In I, the monster arm. I would go out of my way to hit a Bigfoot with my car. <laughs> but, like, you know, the skunk ape... Bigfoots are not good. Bigfoots are not good, no. I've heard of some reformist Bigfoots trying to see... They've seen the error of their ways. Come sure. Trying to reintegrate into a uh, more polite cryptid society. Fair enough. But uh, the vast majority are bastards, and that's why you don't see many of them, because we took them out. Well, and they're probably... Uh, uh, could be gaining... Uh, coming together again. I, I sure hope not. But the skunk ape, but hey, the worst he ever do- did was steal a couple of, you know, bologna sandwiches from camp. Bologna sandwich Smells horrible. He's part of the rations. What I would like to do is find the skunk ape and either take him willingly or kidnap him and take him somewhere where he could take a nice shower. Get some nice, like, uh, get good, like, maybe, maybe suave. Shampoo or something like that. Something that smells real good. Soft. It's got some like fruity scent. They got that green apple. It's really nice. Get that. Work that into the into the fur. Never get heard Get that this. in there. Maybe get some some like doggy flea soap, so they don't get like fleas. Get to help them with the insects and and, and 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 introduce them to the beauty that is deodorant. So this would so so that was. We knew our en- thy enemy, but this so this was how to take it out. I think I think Just that's the way to do it. Just be friendly. Give it a bath. And then introduce it to some deodorant, maybe some cologne, and it won't be the skunk any, but it's skunk ape anymore. It'll that's be how the, you defeat the skunk ape. It'll be the smooth ape. It'll be the the cool ape. Be the be the, the oh, you smell so good, ape. Because well, we already uh, we we already tried to see if the uh, the bats, but it doesn't it doesn't eat bats, so that's that's out of the question. So maybe yeah. maybe this is better. Soap. That's <laughs> <laughs> the greatest weakness of the of the skunk ape. Best way, yeah, that's, that's, I, I will go on the record as saying that's the best way if you ever uh, encounter a skunk ape, uh, soap. In a, in, in a, uh, in a pinch, like, uh, get, like, good dish soap. Like, if it's good enough for washing oil off of little duckies, it's good enough for getting the stank off a of skunk ape. So we, uh, now that, now that we know thy enemy, that's how you defeat it. I'd, I'd say that's soap. how you defeat it, yep, just soap, wash the bad boy, you know, get him out there. And if he's uh, if he's terrorizing your house or something like that, you know you you can hook up those hoses that have the automatic soap dispenser on it. Just wait by your window, get the hose running through your house. Wait by the window, you know where he's coming. He's trying to get the food out of your back of your truck or something like that. You just spray him down, get him coated in there. He starts smelling better. Wow, how does a creature let itself get that stinky in the first place? See skunks. Don't, don't smell know. horrible just by themselves. They just smell like a, they're, they're like a rodent. It's when you scare them, they, they spray the butt spray, then they stink. I don't know, Joe. It's, it's, it's skunk ape. It's like all the time it stinks. That's just not cool. That's I not know. cool in my book. To be... Actually, that's, that's really too bad because you are named after a very bad habit. Being stinky. Yeah, yes. Not, so... Well, you heard it here first. Wash the skunk ape. Yeah, that would be that would be like you know having the the you know the 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 so the lazy diarrhea lizard or something you know. <laughs> but that mean, yeah right so, but that would mean that you have to keep soap on you at all times if you're in the area if you're in Florida, keep soap on. You. At least deodorant. If I'm in the South, I always have deodorant on me. Wow. 
If you take that, you roll it out a little bit, you can use that like a freaking knife. You just, yeah, I don't know, you smell good, you know? Oh, yeah, I remember the old, uh, it has like a ball in there, it's like a rolly kind oh, of Oh, yeah, listen, I am a big man. I know, I smell bad in the South. The air gets to be hot soup. Do you take your deodorant and you, not only do you do your armpits, but then you go around your arms and you go like this and you roll it around? I usually do a little bit under each arm, a little bit by the neck, and inner thigh. The inner thigh serves two purposes. One, your junk don't stank as much. You don't get that grundle funk. Two, helps with chafing when you are a large man. Couldn't you just use uh, lotion? I don't know, Baxter. Why don't you gain 100 pounds and tell me better, huh? I'm telling you what works for me, all right? Man, I'm just really drinking this coffee today. My brain is... It's really working. It's kind of slow. Well, it's because we have this, uh, this, this, this fog of, of uh, this, this fog, man. This, 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 this cinders of, of burnt maple syrup showering us. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole of America's hat's on fire. <laughs> We're down here coughing. Oh, gotta love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's about all I got on the on the skunk ape. Florida skunk ape. Florida skunk ape. This was a fun one. I I, I really I, enjoyed looking more into this one. I yeah, there was a. Uh, I had no idea this was a thing. This was really interesting looking into it. Yep. That the Bigfoot has a possible relative. Tons of tons of possible they, a bunch of offshoots. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Big, always big guy running around, lots of hair. <laughs> usually smells bad. It usually stinks. <laughs> could just Which, be hippies. I will say this. It could just be some big red-headed ginger dude out there just, like I said, honking the boof in the freaking woods. Just some some big red-headed hippie, and they're just like, ah, oh, just skunk ape. And he's like, ah, oh, look, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. A little bit of a hippie, you know. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys have... Uh, Creature, cryptid, monster, whatever you'd like us to, to cover. And, you know, subject is off bounds. Anything, even from like literature or like a game, DD, Warcraft, yeah, Warhammer. Leave in the comments but, below what you'd like us to cover. Let us know. Yeah, we're, we're willing to cover just about anything, uh, especially if it's a fun one. And uh, yeah, check check out. Uh, I do a lot on the TikTok channel. Baxter's going to be hopping on there more often. Uh, there, uh, Baxter has a uh, film reviewing. The film, film review channel. Check out, yeah. We're going to yeah. have that down in the in the comments. Down so pretty soon we're going to start doing a, a gaming channel as well. As well. We're going to do all of that kind of stuff. Check out our Patreon. Please do that. Uh, then maybe uh, in the future we can upgrade from... We've already gone from shed to basement. Maybe we can go from basement to studio. We've gone from melty garage to dungeon. Yeah, maybe. It's, uh, yeah, but at least it's, it's, kind it's of got a window. It's, it's nice. blue. Yeah. It's blue. Yeah, it's good. It's blue color. Uh, um, yeah, check us out. Be sure to watch yep. our uh, Adventures of Baxter in the General. Yep. The playlists below and. Uh, yep. Like we, and subscribe, please. Like and subscribe. We really appreciate you. Please share the video as well. And if you hate us, give it a thumbs down. But we prefer a thumbs we up. Prefer a thumbs up, but it's all engagement, so. <laughs> Jokes on you. But yeah. You're not wrong. Let us know what you think, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. You guys you so are the reason much. we do all this, all right? Over 1,800 subscribers. Over 1,800 subscribers now. Yep. Thank you very much, all you yep. people. We're like this close to getting the old uh, dollar sign from from Papa YouTube, so we're getting close. So let's, let's get us there. Yeah, watch, let's get us watch there. all of our videos. Go watch the videos. Go, go watch, watch every single one five times in a row right now. Watch Go watch our stuff! Please, thank you very much. You heard it here first. Please, then, buy us news on the Nova Amy podcast. Bye. Bye.